Hello everyone, how are you doing? I hope that you are doing so very well. Today I'm here with a book haul. So without further ado, let's jump into the books. First up is a Christmas present that I got from my friend Christina Marie. I'll link all her info down below and that is Dear Van Hansen, Through the Window. Oh no, there's a little mark on here because I literally just got some lipstick on it. Everything's fine. I'm fine. This is about Dear Van Hansen and all of the info about it, like the story, some notes on the songs, etc. I am very excited to read this. So thanks Christina for this present. I love it. Next up is a present I got from my friend Jesse over at Jesse the Reader and that is the Illuminated Bible. It's an art journaling Bible so there's space to journal and draw on the sides. There's some beautiful typography throughout as well as some drawings. You can kind of see some there. Here's another one. It's just a beautiful Bible and it's in ESV which is my favorite translation. I love it a lot. Thank you so much Jesse for this. <laughs> I got my manuscripts. I talked about these a couple hauls ago, so now I wanna show it to you. I got this patch for being a first day donor. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this, but I love it. And here's the gospel set. Basically, manuscripts are a Bible that's just easier to carry and easier to read. It's like a tiny little pocket Bible split up by book. So yeah, look at this. Look at how great that is. I am so proud of them and so excited for them. And they're actually still selling this set. So if you're interested, I'll leave all the info down below. And also, I had some people comment about me talking about the Bible. Look, y'all, I'm a Christian, and the Bible is a book, so I'm going to talk about it when I get really cool stuff, and you can skip through it if you want to. Next up, I'm going to talk about some books that I got from publishers. First up in that category is Tyler Johnson Was Here by Jay Coles. It's about a boy named Marvin, and his twin brother Tyler goes to a party where a shooting happens, and then there's a police raid, and later it is found out that he is dead and that he was shot and killed by a police officer. So Marvin is caught up in the midst of that. He's dealing with his mom's grief. He's dealing with the publicity of his brother becoming a hashtag and he's trying to figure everything out in the middle of that. It sounds absolutely necessary, heartbreaking, and I'm very excited to read it. I have been since it was announced and also this cover is absolutely beautiful. Next up is The Art and Making of The Greatest Showman, which I got from a publisher, Weldon Owen. I've talked about The Greatest Showman a lot. I have a lot of feelings about The Greatest Showman. I absolutely love the music. The movie story is not my favorite necessarily. Also, P.T. Barnum was kind of a trash human, but the music is still amazing, so I will take a book about it and the art. Look, oh, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Thank you, Weldon Owen. You guys are the best. Next up are some children's books that I got from Penguin. First up is Island Born by Juno Diaz, and it is a signed copy. And next up is Love by Matt De La Pena, illustrated by Lauren Long, and it is also a signed copy. Love is kind of about all the different ways that love is expressed in our lives. Looks like we got some great illustrations. I'm here for it. And Island Born is about a girl named Lola. All of the kids in her school are from different places, so their teacher asked them to draw where they came from, and Lola does not quite remember the island she was born on, but with her friends and her family, they all come together to tell her about that island. So it's really about her learning about her home and her culture and I think that sounds absolutely beautiful. Next up are some books you've already seen on my channel and that is Scythe and Thunderhead by Neil Schusterman. Thunderhead is a sequel that just came out but Scythe is about two people named Citra and Rowan and in their world there's no disease, no war, nothing that could actually kill you. The only way you can die is at the hands of a Scythe and they are both kind of forced into training to become Scythes. Everybody who has been reading these has been raving about them and loving them. Very excited to get into these. Next up is Nemesis and Genesis by Brandon Reichs. It's about a girl who every two years on her birthday gets murdered and then she wakes up and then across the valley this other kid imagines death and murders and there's just stuff that's happening in their world that is nothing they can explain. It sounds really interesting and intriguing and unique but I have never fully understood the plot synopsis. Every time I've tried to explain it I'm like yeah that one. Maybe I'll read it someday now that I have the first book and the sequel, so we'll see. Next up is something I got from a publisher, but it's actually all of the contents of the novel box that I talked about on my Instagram, but not on my channel. Novel box is a box that you can get from Novel. It was actually curated by Twirling Pages. Alexandra is amazing and she has an amazing feed, so when I heard it was curated by her, I was even more excited. So let me just show you the stuff that was in there. First up, we've got this booked all week tote and this novel wand. 
water bottle, which is actually a diffuser water bottle. Like you can put fruit in there and diffuse it. Real cute stuff. There's also this hedgehog pin that says just one more chapter. It's so cute and I love it. The best thing. There's also this Lunar Bazaar candle. The scent is Muse of Nightmares, which is from Strange the Dreamer. That's also the name of the second book, but this candle has flowers in it. It's so cool and I wanted to burn it, but it's so beautiful that I don't know if I can. Then I got all of these books in there. There is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black, The Diviners by Liva Bray, and The Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight by Jennifer E. Smith. Fun fact about me, I actually did not like either of these two books. The Diviners was just so scary. Like the plot setting and the characters were good, but it was so scary. And the statistical probability of love at first sight was just very disappointing after this is what happy looks like, which I loved. And then I read this and I was like, I mean, it's fine. This is about two kids that meet in an airport. You think that they're gonna go on adventures together, but they go their separate ways and they're that way for the most of the book. So it's a contemporary romance where most of the book they are apart, which was not the best. The Diviners is about some people in the 1920s with supernatural powers trying to fight some evil stuff happening, like a literal demon. I know a lot of people that love it, so I can give you recommendations if you want to find somebody who loves this book, who talks about this book. Monica from She Might Be Monica is one. She loves this book. Go listen to her talk about it. And then we have The Cruel Prince by Holly Black, which has had some people who really love it, some people who don't really love it. This is about a girl named Jude, and she and her sisters were stolen away to the court of fairy when they were very young. It's 10 years later. They still don't totally belong. And apparently there's intrigue, there's deception, there's what you expect from a paranormal world with a court, you know? Like all the things that you would expect are in the summary. There's not really like a good plot that I can grab onto. It's all just very vague. We'll see if I like it. Next up, we'll talk about some random books that I bought. The first one is Lair of Dreams by Lippa Bray. I know, I literally just said that I did not like The Diviners, but I've heard Lair of Dreams is not as scary. So maybe I can read it. Maybe I'll be fine. Also, it was $4 at Books A Million. It was $4. That's why I got it. I could not pass it up. $4. $4. I kind of gave you the basic plot summary in a very poor fashion for the Diviners and then anything else in Lair of Dreams would be spoilery. Next up are some books I got at Barnes Noble. First up is Uninvited by Lissa Turkhurst. This is a nonfiction Christian book that is about living loved when you feel less than, left out, and lonely. It's kind of talking about rejection and basically trying to move past that in your own life. I've heard amazing things about it, so I'm excited to read it. Next up is Meet Cute, which is an anthology of stories of Meet Cute, which is my ultimate dream. I'm very excited about it. I've got Stories from Jennifer L. Armentrout, Julie Murphy, Nicola Yoon, Nina LaCour, Huntley Fitzpatrick. I've heard great things about it. Next up, let's talk about some book outlet books. My deal with book outlet is that they give me gift cards and I get books from them. First up in this order is Down Among the Sticks and Bones by Seanan McGuire. This is the second book in the Wayward Children series, which I read the first book of and loved. The first book is Every Heart a Doorway and it's about a school where a bunch of children go who have been to other worlds like Alice in Wonderland, Chronicles of Narnia, and they are trying to recover from their time there or trying to accept the fact that they may not be going back. and. This book follows Jack and Jill who appear in the first book, so I am very excited to read it. I believe the third book is Beneath the Sugar Sky, which I don't have yet, but this was on Book Outlet, so obviously I had to get it. Gotta get them books while they're cheap, you know? Next up is A Study in Charlotte by Brittany Cavallero, and this is about the great-great-grandchildren of Watson and Sherlock Holmes. It's kind of a female Sherlock Holmes retelling, but they're actually related to them, if that makes sense. So Jamie Watson and Charlotte Holmes end up at this same school together, and some stuff starts happening and they get framed for murder. And the only person that can clear their names is Charlotte. I love Sherlock Holmes stuff. I love retellings. And I've heard really good things about this, so very excited for it. Also, the cover is beautiful. Next up is Of Mess and Moxie by Jen Hatmaker. It's about having grit, having backbone, having resilience, having moxie in the middle of your mess. I love Jen Hatmaker, so I'm excited to read this. Next up is A Shadow Bright and Burning by Jessica Cluis. And I honestly didn't know anything about this book when I bought it. I just saw Jesse talking about about it and I was like, okay, do you like that book? Let me get that book. This is about a girl named Henrietta and she has the power to burst into flame and she's forced to reveal that to save somebody she knows and she's actually declared the first female sorceress. She's proclaimed as a chosen one, but she's not actually the chosen one. She meets some other sorcerer dudes and she's trying to hide the fact that she's not actually a chosen one. Sounds magical. Next up is This Adventure Ends by Emma Mills. This is about a girl named Sloane and she's not really expecting to find a group of friends when she moves across the country 
country, but she does. She becomes friends with Vera and Gabe. Vera is a social media star and Gabe is her twin brother. But then one of their mom's paintings goes missing and Sloane decides that it is her responsibility to track down that painting and find it. And she gets to know the twins very well along the way, along that adventure that will eventually end. It's a contemporary romance, so I'm very excited to get into this. And last but not least are two different Barnes & Noble orders that I placed. First up is A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Lee Ingle. I bought this so I could read it with Elena. Before the movie came out, I was a terrible buddy read. That's beside the point. This is about a girl named Meg who goes on an adventure through different dimensions and different universes to find her father and save him from it. It's a science fiction book. It's really random and wild and out there and I really enjoy it. I actually liked the movie more, I think, but I still really enjoyed this. Next up is Love, Life, and the List by Casey West. This is about a girl named Abby and after being told her art does not have enough depth, she makes a list so that she can find those moments, find that depth in herself, and her best friend Cooper decides to help her along the way. The issue with Cooper is she's been in love with him for a while and he does not feel the same, so got some unrequited love situation there. Next up is Nice Try Jane Center by Leanne Olke. This is about a girl named Jane who is expelled from high school, so she enrolls in community college, and then she decides to join a student-run reality show called House of Orange. What could go wrong? Probably a lot of things, but I've heard great things about this book, especially from Emma from Emma Books, so I'm excited to read it. Next up is Dear Martin by Nick Stone. Justice is a guy at a prep school and he has a run-in with a police officer where he did nothing wrong, but it really shakes him and rattles him. So he's trying to deal with that and to overcome that as well as trying to fit into a school where he never really has fit in. And then one day he goes driving with his friend Manny and they have their music up and this cop that pulls them over does not like that. There's shots fired, there's things that happen, and whenever the media picks up the story, Justice is the one that is under attack. It sounds very complex, very deep, very interesting, and I have heard amazing things about it, so I'm ready to read it. Next up is Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds. This is about a boy named Will, and his brother has died, and he's out for revenge. He wants to kill the person who killed his brother, and I believe that he goes into an elevator, and each floor is someone trying to convince him not to kill this guy. Based on what I've heard from other people, it's not in the synopsis, but we'll see. Again, I've heard amazing, amazing things about this book, and I've been meaning to read it, so I just picked it up. Next up is The Chaos of Standing Still by Jessica Brody. This is about a girl named Rin, and she has one unread text message from her best friend who died on her phone. She does not want to read it. She's holding on to that, and then in the Denver airport, she literally runs into this guy named Xander, and they end up swapping phones, and it creates a whole adventure that neither of them expected, but through this adventure, Rin is really trying to move on and to do what her best friend would want her to do. Sounds really great. Sounds heartbreaking. I'm here for it. Next up is Far From the Tree by Robin Benway. This is about three biological siblings that don't know that they're siblings, but Grace decides to go looking and finds these two biological siblings. It's really about adoption and about finding family and dealing with family after a lot of things have happened, and it sounds so beautiful. I don't see that many stories about adoption, so I love it when I can find something where there's talk about fostering and about adoption, so very excited for this. And actually last is an order I placed on Amazon so that I could get Restore Me and then a lot of other new releases that I haven't read yet and I literally just opened the box just now. First up is Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adiemi. And if you haven't heard about this book anywhere on booktube, who are you? This book has been everywhere for a while and it was just released and I'm so excited about it. Everyone who has read it loves it. Everyone. So I'm ready. This is about a girl who is a magi. She has magic and her mother was actually killed for her magic by the king, but she has the chance to bring magic back, so she partners up with a rogue princess and they're gonna take down the prince and bring back magic. It just sounds like an epic fantasy adventure in every sense of the word, and like I said, everyone has loved this book, so I'm amped. I'm pumped. Next up is Restore Me by Tahara Mafi, which is a new Shatter Me book, and Shatter Me is about a girl named Juliet who has powers and is trying to deal with them in a dystopian world and fight back against the government and stuff like that. So this is the next book in that series. If you haven't heard of Shatter Me, just go watch Witty Novels videos and you'll see at least 50 Shatter Me videos. And last but not least is Sight Witch by Susan Dennard. This is a novella that takes place before Truth Witch or maybe before Wind Witch. It's a novella that takes place sometime in this world. This is about a girl named Ryber who is the only Sight Witch sister left. And it's about her journey and her life and it's in the Truth Witch world and that's all I got for you. And that's it. That's all the books. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had fun. Let me know down below as always if there is something I should read sooner rather than later or something I should be wary of, please tell me I want to know. Thank you so much for watching this video.
video and I'll see you next time. Bye. I can say words. It's fine.